Good afternoon, church. You're all welcome to um, this afternoon's prayer session. And shall we begin by thanking the Lord? We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory, we give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to our God. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Oh, we give glory. To the Lord, He reigns. Wherever you are, just begin to worship the Lord and thank Him for His faithfulness and His goodness and His grace and His mercy. Begin to open your mouth and begin to just thank the Lord, begin to worship Him for His goodness. Father, we thank You for this day. We give You all the glory. We give You all the honor. We give You all the praise. We thank You for Your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your sustenance. We thank you that you've brought us this far. We thank you that you you continue to be with us, that you're always by our side. We bless you. We give you the glory, honor, and praise. And as we enter into a time of, of prayer, we pray that the Holy Spirit will strengthen us and enable us to get through this time of prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So Pastor Caleb has been taking us through um, a series on open heaven. So today's prayers are going to be centered on that theme. So we are going to implore God to open the windows of heaven. Can we look at Psalm 144, verses 5 to 7? I'm using NLT. Confidence, please, can you? Put that up, please. So it says, Psalm 144, 5 to 7, it says, Open the heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so they billow smoke. Verse 6, Hell your lightning bolts and scatter your enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse them. Reach down from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from deep waters from the power of my enemies. So we're going to begin by praying and asking God to open the heavens. Verse 5 says, open the heavens, Lord, and, and come down. We are asking God to open the heavens, and we are asking him to come down, to touch every single mountain in our lives. Whatever you are going through, whatever you see as a mountain or a limitation, a frustration or obstacle in your life, right now, begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask God to open the heavens and ask Him, He Himself, to come down and to, you know, take away those mountains away from your life. Let us begin to pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We give you all the glory and honor and praise for your word. Your word says that. Open the heavens, Lord, and come down. This afternoon, we are asking you to come down. Come down into our lives, so God, Father, and touch every mountain, my God, Father. Every mountain, every obstacle, every single thing that is impeding our progress in our, in our lives in our careers, in our businesses, oh God, Father, in our Christian work with you, in our health. This afternoon, we pray, mighty God, that you will touch, touch every single mountain, every single mountain, every single impediment that has come our way, oh God. We are, we are asking you, oh God, we are imploring you this afternoon to come down into our situations, oh God, and touch the mountains in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, touch those mountains in our lives, O oh God, Father. 
touch those mountains in our lives. Cause them to disintegrate, oh God, Father. Cause them to disappear, oh God, Father. Every single mountain that we are faced with, oh God, Father. Calm down, Father. You yourself, God, calm down. We pray. We ask you today. Open the heavens, oh God, Father. Open the heavens, oh Lord. Open the heavens, mighty God, and come down into our affairs, oh God, Father. Father, cause every mountain to be leveled. Cause every mountain to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Mountains in our marriages, mountains in our careers, mountains in our health, mountains in our finances, oh God, Father. Come down this afternoon, oh God, Father. Open the heavens, open the windows of heaven, oh God, and come down into our midst this afternoon, oh God, Father. Father, we are beckoning you, Father. We are calling you and asking you, Father, to have your way, my God, Father, in our lives. And Father, to touch every single mountain that we are faced with, oh God, Father. Come down, oh God, Father. Come down, oh God, Father. Come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch every single mountain. Touch every single mountain that we are faced with. Touch every single mountain. Mountains in our marriages, oh God, Father. Touch them. Mountains in our marriages. Touch them, oh God, Father. Mountains preventing us from getting married, oh God, Father. Father, touch those mountains, my God, Father. Cause them to disappear, oh God, Father. Mountains that are impeding our health, oh God, Father, intervene in the mighty name of Jesus. Mountains that are preventing us from having children, oh God, Father, may those mountains disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you yourself come down, oh God, Father. Open the heavens and come down. Intervene in our affairs, oh God, Father. This is what we ask of you this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. Come down, O God, Father. You yourself, mighty God. You yourself, King of Kings. Come down and touch every single mountain. Don't leave any mountain untouched, O God. Touch every mountain. Mountains that we are facing, my God, Father, in childbirth. Mountains that we are facing, my God, Father, in marriage. Mountains that we are facing in our health, O God, Father. Financial marriages, O God, Father. And whatever other mountains that anyone might be contending with, O God, Father. This afternoon, we invoke you, O God, Father. We call upon you to open up the windows of heaven and come into our lives, Father, and cause those mountains, O God, Father, to be leveled. Cause those mountains to disappear in the mighty name of Jesus. The sixth says, Hell your lightning bolts, your lightning bolts, and scatter your enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse them. Church, we all know that we are in a, in a battle. We are fighting against um, principalities and powers and all kinds of spiritual beings. And we are fighting against physical um, men and women who have also uh, positioned themselves. Um, to fight against us, all working to kill, steal, and to destroy, you know, our lives and uh, whatever we we belongs to us and everything. We want to pray that God will help His lightning bolts, that God will scatter our enemies, that God will cause confusion to be in the camp of our enemies. Let us pray, Father. We pray that Father, you yourself will help your lightning bolts, oh God. That you will scatter our enemies. Scatter our enemies. All those who have gathered against us, O oh God Father. Be them in the spiritual realm, O oh God Father. Be them um, men, O oh God Father. We pray this afternoon, Father. Come down from heavens, O oh God Father. Come down, my God Father, and hell your lightning bolts at our enemies, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, scatter your enemies, O oh God. Scatter your enemies. Scatter our enemies, O oh God. Every single enemy of us that is raging against us, O oh God Father. Raging against any aspect of our lives. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will scatter them, O oh God. We pray, my God, Father, that you will confuse our enemies. Shoot your arrows, O oh God, and confuse our enemies. Let there be confusion in the camp of our enemies, my God, Father, that they will not be able to carry out their plans and their purposes for us, O oh God. Shoot your arrows, O oh God, Father. Shoot your arrows and confuse our enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this afternoon that hell your lightning bolts, Father, Scatter our enemies. Shoot 
your eyes and confuse them, my God Father. Cause them to be confused, oh God Father. Cause them to be ashamed and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. We are moving on. We are still praying, church. Verse 7 says, reach down from heaven, from heaven and rescue me. Rescue me from deep waters, from the power of my enemies. Uh, my sisters and brothers, you know what you're going through. You know what, what kind of deep waters that you You know. You know what kind of deep waters that you, you are in. We are going to pray that God will rescue you from those deep waters. We are going to pray that God will deliver you from the power of these enemies who seek your downfall, who want to destroy you, who want to impede your, your progress. Shall we begin to pray? Father, we pray, my God, Father, that you will reach down from heaven and that you will rescue us. Rescue us from deep waters. Deep waters in our marriages, oh God, Father. Deep waters in our finances, oh God, Father. Deep waters in our Christian work, oh God, Father. Deep waters in our families, my God, Father. Deep waters in our health, oh God, Father. Rescue us, oh God. Come down, my God, Father, from heaven and rescue us today. We cry upon you, oh God. Come down and rescue us from deep waters. Deep waters that are preventing us from progressing, oh God, Father. Rescue us from every single deep water. Mighty God, rescue us from every deep water. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Rescue us from deep waters. Mighty God, rescue us from deep waters. Whatever deep water is contending with us, O oh God, Father, we cry out unto you this afternoon and we pray that you will rescue us, that you will deliver us from every single deep water. Your word says that, that the, the waters will not overflow us, O oh God, Father. Rescue us, O oh God. Rescue us, O oh God, Father, and keep us from the power of our enemies father keep us safe and sound in the mighty name of jesus we pray so we're gonna go over our declaration confidence can you please put that up so we're going to go over the declaration and it says open the heavens lord come down touch every mountain in my life Cause every mountain in my life to disappear. Tell your heavenly arsenal upon my enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse every physical and spiritual enemy of mine to flee. Rescue me, Lord, in Jesus' name. So we're going to take it again. Open the heavens, Lord. Come down. Touch every mountain in my life. Cause every mountain in my life to disappear in the name of Jesus. Hell your heavenly arsenal upon my enemies. Hell your heavenly arsenal upon my enemies. Shoot your arrows and confuse every physical and spiritual enemy of mine in the name of Jesus. Call them to flee, mighty God. Rescue us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we are moving on. We are moving on. Our next scripture that we are going to stand on to pray is Exodus 16, verses 3 to 5. Exodus 16, verses 3 to 5. And I read, it says, If only the Lord had killed us back in Egypt, they moaned. There we sat around pots filled with meat and ate all the bread we wanted. But now you have brought us into this wilderness to starve us to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I'm going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day, the people can go out and pick up as much food as they need for the day. Amen. Church, I'm sure you can identify with this particular scripture. We all know that we have been redeemed by Christ. We are all born again Christians. And there are times when you feel that you know, was it worth me, you know, accepting Jesus Christ? Just because you are faced with a particular problem or an issue. And you might begin to doubt. You might begin to grumble. But even in those times, God is merciful. He still heals, hears us when we cry unto him. The verse 4 says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Look, I'm going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day that people can go out and pick up as much food as they need for that day. So God, despite our mourning, despite our doubts, 
God is still there for us. We see that he rained down from heaven food for the um, Israelites during the days of Moses. Today we are going to pray that God is going to rain down whatever you might need in your life, whatever you are lacking in your life. Ask God to rain it down today from heaven. Every single thing that you need to progress, progress. Everything that you need to, to sustain you in your life's journey, let us begin to pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that just as you rain down mighty God, just as you rain down mighty God, just as you rain down manna for heaven for the Israelites, my God, Father, my Lord, open the floodgates of heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven. And begin to reign, mighty God. Begin to reign, mighty God and King. Begin to reign, mighty God. Begin to reign, my God Father. Begin to reign, my God Father. Everything that we might need, my God Father. Everything that we might need, my God Father. Father, you know us, my God Father. And as we are praying, you are praying for yourself so you know what you need. Just begin to mention those things. And be rest assured that God will rain those things down upon you because you have asked it. Father, this afternoon I pray and ask you to rain down every single physical and spiritual blessing, my God Father, that is necessary for me, my God Father, to, to, to walk, my God Father, and continue my life's journey in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you rain down from your abundance, my God Father, every single spiritual blessing, my God Father, every single physical blessing upon my life and upon the lives of my family, oh God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God. Everything necessary for us, my God, Father, Father, to, to, to live, my God, Father, our lives on this earth, my God, Father, this afternoon, open, open, open the floodgates of heaven, open the floodgates of heaven, Father, this day we ask you to open the floodgates of heaven, my God, Father, and begin to rain down, begin to rain down, rain down peace, my God, Father, rain down your grace, oh God, Father, Rain down your mercy, O God Father. Rain down healing, my God Father. Rain down direction, my God Father. In the name of Jesus, rain, my God Father. Rain down, my God Father, every single thing that we need, my God Father, to live, my God Father, to to live out, my God Father, our life journey. Rain it upon us this afternoon. We cry out unto you and we call unto you, my God Father, just as in the days of Moses. Father, rain down, rain down, Father, every single thing that we need, my God Father, to live, my God Father. Every single thing that we need to progress, my God Father. But Father, rain it down. Rain it down, my God Father. Rain down your goodness upon us. Rain down your grace upon us, O God Father. Rain down direction, O God Father. Rain down peace, O God Father. Rain down, my God Father, all that we might need, O God Father, this afternoon. I cry out unto you, my God Father. Rain down, my God Father, upon us, O God Father. Rain down upon your people this afternoon. Rain down Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, rain down, my God, Father, every spiritual blessing, my God, Father, every physical blessing, my God, Father, everything, my God, Father, we need, my God, Father, to progress, my God, Father, in our lives, my God, Father, this afternoon, we cry out unto you, we cry out unto you, my God, Father, we come before you, mighty God, and we ask, my God, Father, rain down, rain down, begin to rain down, my God, Father, things that we have put before you, things that, Father, we have ask you for my God Father rain them down upon us this afternoon my God Father from your abundance oh God Father rain them down rain them down rain them down in the name of Jesus Father, rain down, rain down, rain down, rain down from heaven, my God, Father. Every single thing that we have put before you, my God, Father, my Lord. Things that we have been praying to you about, my God, Father. Don't keep the heavens closed, of God, but open the floodgates of heaven. Open the windows of heaven and pour out, my God, Father, everything that we have asked you for, for Father, in our closet, oh God, Father. Rain it down upon us, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are moving on. We are going to um, um, go over the declaration. Confidence, can you please put that up, please? So, Lord, 
We repent of grumbling and doubting your purpose and plan for our life. Today, we humbly petition you to rain down every promise you have said concerning our life. Father, cause your blessings to rain down on us, just as manna rained down on the Israelites in the days of Moses. We'll take it again. Lord, we repent of grumbling and doubting your purpose and plan for our lives. Today, we humbly petition you to rain down every promise you have said concerning our lives. Father, cause your blessings to rain down on us, just as manna rained down on the Israelites in the days of Moses. Amen. Let it rain, let it rain, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, join me and sing, let it rain, Lord, open the floodgates gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, Lord, open the black gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain, Lord, Open the floodgates of heaven, Lord, let it rain, oh, let it rain, Lord, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, Lord, let it rain. Oh, open the floodgates of heaven. Hallelujah. We are moving on. We are still praying. We are in the mood of prayer. Isaiah 45, verse 8. Can we look at Isaiah 45, verse 8? It says, You heavens above, rain down righteousness. Let the clouds shower it down. Let the earth open wide. Let salvation spring up. Let righteousness grow with it. I, the Lord, have created it. I'll take it again. Open up, O heavens, and pour out your righteousness. Let the earth open wide so salvation and righteousness can sprout up together. I, the Lord, created them. Amen. So, Righteousness can also be said to, said to be goodness. It could also mean goodness. So this afternoon, we are going to pray and ask God to rain down his goodness upon our lives. We are going to ask God to rain his goodness upon our lives. Um, Psalm says that God's goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. And the scripture we just read, the verse 8, says, Your heavens, You heavens above, rain down righteousness. So we are going to command the heavens above to rain down righteousness upon us, to rain down goodness upon us. It says, let the clouds shower it down. Let the goodness of God shower down. Let be soaked with the goodness of God. Begin to pray. Father, we pray this afternoon that the heavens above will open um, on our behalf, O oh God, and that you will rain down your goodness upon us, O oh God. This afternoon we plead and ask you to rain down your goodness upon us, mighty God. Rain down your goodness on us, O oh God. Rain down your goodness on us, O oh God. We ask you this afternoon to rain down your goodness upon us, O oh God. Let the clouds shower it down. Let the clouds of heaven shower it down. Your goodness, O oh God, Father. May your goodness, my God, Father, rain down upon us. This year, may we be soaked, O oh God, Father, with your goodness. May we be soaked with your goodness, O oh God, Father. May the heavens open up. And rain down righteousness upon your people. Rain down goodness upon us, O oh God, Father, this afternoon. 
Let the heavenly clouds shower it down, Father. Let the earth open wide, my God, Father. Father, may, may, may your goodness, Father, be sprinkled upon us, O oh God, Father. May it, may it be rained down upon us, O oh God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day of 2023, my God, Father. May it be a day, every single day, my God, Father. May your goodness rain down upon us every single day, mighty God and mighty King. May your goodness uh, rain down upon us, my God, Father, from the beginning of the, the of this year up until the end of this year my god father may your goodness may your goodness be seen upon our lives may we be soaked with your goodness in the mighty name of jesus we pray Cause your goodness and mercy to follow us, O oh God Father, each and every day of this year, O oh God Father. Rain down goodness, rain down righteousness, O oh God Father. Let the clouds shower it down, the clouds of heaven. Let them shower down goodness upon our lives, upon every single area of our lives, upon every single aspect of our lives, O oh God Father. Shower it down, shower it down. Father, we are, we are praying your word back unto you, O oh God. Shower it down. We pray that you will shower it down. Shower down your goodness, my God, Father, over every single member of this church. Shower down your goodness. Shower down your righteousness, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Shower it down, mighty God. Shower it down, Father, in accordance with your word. You heavens above, rain down righteousness, rain down goodness upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We are still praying. We are still praying. We are still focusing on Isaiah 45. Can we look at the verse 14? Isaiah 45, verse 14. Confidence, can you please put that up? Verse 14 says, is what the Lord says. The products of Egypt, Egypt, sorry, and the merchandise of Cush, and those tall Sabians, they will come over to you and will be yours. They will trudge behind you, coming over to you in chains. They will bow down before you and plead with you, saying, Surely God is with you, and there is no other. There is no other God. We are going to pray that we will be recognized by our enemies as children of God. We are going to pray that our enemies will, will be subject to us in the name of Jesus and that all their devices, all their plans, and all their purposes will come to naught. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us begin to pray. Father, we pray, my God, Father, that every single enemy, my God, Father, every plan of the devil, every plan of the principalities and powers, every plan of strongholds, my God, Father, that it will not come to pass in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that our enemies will be subject unto us, that every single plan and purpose of them will not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that they will, we will be recognized by them as sons and daughters of God, that they will indeed cry out and say, surely God is with us. Surely God is with Liberty Grace Life Chapel, Chapel in the mighty name of Jesus. This afternoon we break all our enemies before you mighty King, our God. And we pray, my God, that you will subdue our enemies, my God, Father. We pray, my God, Father, our enemies will come over to us and that they will be ours. They will be subject to us, O God. They will trust behind us, my God, Father, coming over to us in chains, my God, Father. Father, meaning that they will be subject to us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that they will be, our enemies will be subject to us in the name of Jesus. And that all their enterprises will come to nothing, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That they will cry out and surely say that surely God is with us. Surely God is with every single member of Liberty Grace Life Chapel. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name name of Jesus we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Can we go over our declaration? Confi, can you please put that up? Father, rain down your goodness upon us today. May your goodness taste after us. Let the heavenly clouds shower down your goodness upon us. Lord, may we be soaked, may we be drenched with your goodness, may we be receptive and prepared to receive your goodness in Jesus' name. 
We're going over that again. Father, rain down your goodness upon us today. May your goodness chase after us. Let the heavenly clouds shower down your goodness upon us. Lord, may we be soaked. May we be drenched with your goodness. May we be receptive and prepared to receive your goodness. In Jesus' name. But going over that next declaration, which is, we decree and declare that we are sons and daughters of God. Therefore, our enemies are subject to us. Surely, our enemies will confess that God is with us. Let's take it again. We decree and declare that we are the sons and daughters of God. Therefore, our enemies are subject to us. Surely, our enemies will confess that God is with us. Amen. We're still praying. We're still praying. I want us to look at um, the verse 17 of Isaiah 45. What does it say there? It says, but Israel will be saved by the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You will never be put to shame or disgrace to ages everlasting. So that is our prayer. We are going to pray that we will never be put to shame or disgrace in our lifetime. The enemy will try to do it, but he will not succeed. Let us pray that we will never be put to shame or disgrace in our lifetime. Begin to pray. Father, we thank you for your work. We thank you, my God, Father, you have saved us with everlasting salvation. And therefore, we will not be put to shame. Neither will we be disgraced, my God, Father. May this word, my God, Father, be evident in our lives, mighty God. May this word be evident in our lives, my God, Father, that we will never be put to shame, my God, Father, that we will never be disgraced in our lifetime. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, our God, we pray that we will never be put to shame. We will never be put to shame, that the enemy will try. Oh, our enemies will try, O oh God, Father, but because of your grace, because of your goodness and your mercy, O oh God, we will never be put to shame. We will not be disgraced in our lifetimes. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father, we pray that we will never be put to shame or disgrace in our lifetime, my God, Father. Because, my God, Father, your salvation is everlasting. Uh, it is everlasting to the ages. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. So once again, we are going to go over our declaration. Confidence, can you please? Put that up. The declaration says, no. It says, we shall never be disgraced. We will never be put to shame because we have been saved by our God with an everlasting salvation. So I'll just read that out. We shall never be disgraced. We will never be put to shame because we have been saved by our God with an everlasting salvation. Every single member of Liberty Grace Life Chapel shall never be disgraced. We shall never be put to shame because we have been saved by our God with an everlasting salvation. Amen. We are moving on. We are moving on. Our next scripture is Matthew 26, verse 53. Matthew 26, verse 53. And I read, Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us, and he would send them instantly? Have instantly, sorry. I'll take it again. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for thousands of angels to protect us and he would send them instantly? 
Church, heaven is at our beck and call. Angels are on standby, waiting to go to and from the heavens to the earth. As Christians, we must keep heaven's angels gainfully employed. Let us employ God to command his angels to do our bidding today. Can we look at Psalm 91, verses 11 and 12? And it says, verse 11, For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. And verse 12 says, They will hold you up with their hand, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Let us pray that God will command his angels to do our bidding. Begin to pray. Pray. Ask God to ask his angels to protect us wherever we go. Let us pray that, our, that, that God's angels will hold us up with their hands, that we won't even hit our foot against a stone. Let us pray that God will command his angels to do our bidding, begin to pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, my God, that you will command your angels that you command your angels concerning us, my God, Father, to guide us in all our ways, O God, Father, my God, in every single circumstance and every single aspect of our lives, O God. We pray, my God, Father, that you command your angels concerning us, my God, Father, to intervene, my God, Father, in, in our circumstances, O God, Father, to intervene, my God, Father, my Lord, Father, when the enemy is on our case, O God, Father, to, to call us to have ways of escape, my God, Father, as you did for Paul and as you did for Silas in the mighty name of Jesus, to protect us, oh God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Command your angels to protect us from every single fiery doubt of the enemy, oh God. Command your, any, your angels, oh God, Father, to hold us up, my God, Father, if when we are under siege, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, command your angels concerning us this day. We pray that you, that you will command your angels, my God, Father, to intervene in our affairs my God, Father, that all will go well with us this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Command your angels, O God, Father. Command your angels, O God, Father. Command your angels, my God, Father. Command them, command them. Where it concerns us, command them, my God, Father. In our marriages, O God, Father. In our businesses, O God, Father. Father, in our health, O God, Father. Father, in whatever situation, whatever circumstance, or whatever aspect of our lives, my Father, command your angels concerning us. Command them, O oh God Father, to do our bidding, my God Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. You say we should call unto you, O oh God, and that you will answer us, and that you will answer us, mighty God. We cry out unto you to command your angels, my God Father. Command your angels, my God Father, concerning us, mighty God. Command your angels, my God Father, to protect us, O oh God Father, to hold us up, my God Father. Father, when we are weak, my God Father. May they hold us up, my God, Father. Command your angels, my God, Father, to refresh us, my God, Father. Just as your angel refreshed um, Elijah, oh God, Father. Command your angels, my God, Father, and to, to be, my God, Father, of service to us, oh God, Father, in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Church, we're still praying. We're still in the mood of prayer. And we're going to go over the declaration. Confidence, can you please project the, the declaration, please? Father, command your angels to protect us wherever we go. Command your angels to hold us up when we are faced with numerous challenges. Cause your angels to protect us in fiery situations. We declare that though we go through the fire and through the floods, we will not be hurt in Jesus' name. We're going to take that again. Father, command your angels to protect us wherever we go. Command your angels to hold us up when we are faced with numerous challenges. Cause your angels to protect us in fiery situations. We declare that though we go through the fire and through the flood, we will not be hurt in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are still praying. Can we turn to Ezra 8? Ezra 8. Ezra 8, 22 and 23. And I read, it says, 
I was ashamed to ask the king for soldiers and horsemen to protect us from enemies on the road, because we had told the king, the gracious hand of God is on everyone who looks to him, but his anger is against all who forsake him. And verse 23 says, so we fasted and we petitioned our God about this, and he answered our prayer. So we've been informed that the heavens are open unto us, if only we ask God to open the heavens unto us. When God can reach us down from heaven and interfere and in, sorry and intervene in our affairs, and He's able also to turn things around, and He's able to shower down His goodness upon us. And we have confessed the Lord to numerous people, and we have boasted about His goodness. Let us pray and ask God to show Himself strong in our circumstances. Let us implore His gracious hand to protect us, save us and reverse hopeless situations that we might be encountering. And note that because we are fasting and praying, just as Ezra was, God will surely answer our prayers. Let us begin to pray. Father, we thank you, my God, Father, for your word. We thank you, my God, Father, that because, my God, Father, you love us, my God, Father, that your gracious heart is upon us. We thank you, O oh God, Father, that the heavens are open unto us. And therefore, we pray, my God, Father, that you will reach out, you will stretch out your gracious heart, my God, Father, upon us today, my God, Father, my Lord, O oh God, Father, and that you will deliver us, my God, Father, from every single challenge that we might be going through in the mighty name of Jesus. Challenges in our health, O oh God, Father. Challenges in our marriages, O oh God, Father. Challenges in our job places, O oh God, Father. All kinds of challenges, financial challenges, my God, Father. All kinds of issues, my God, Father. Father, may our uh, may people see the gracious hand of your gracious hand upon us, mighty God. May it be evident, my God, Father, that your hand is upon us, my God, Father. Father, place your gracious hand upon us, my God, Father, and reverse hopeless situations, my God, Father. We invite you, my God, Father, to come into our circumstance today, my God, Father. We implore you, my God, Father, to place your gracious hand upon us, my God, Father. Put my God, Father, save us, my God, Father, and reverse hopeless situations in our lives, my God, Father. We cry out unto you, my God, Father. We come before your throne of grace, my God, Father, and we ask you, my God, Father, to tell my God, Father, hopeless situations around, my God, Father. Father, we have boasted about you, my God, Father. We have told people about you, my God, Father. We have told people about your goodness and your mercy. May that goodness and mercy be evident in our lives this afternoon. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are fasting, my God, Father. We are praying, my God, Father, just as Ezra did, my God, Father. Show yourself strong. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Show yourself strong, mighty God. Show yourself strong, mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus, show yourself strong. Deliver us, O God Father, from the hands of our enemies. Save us, O God Father, from the hands of our enemies. Reverse hopeless situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not make our boasting in you, my God Father. Put us to shame, my God Father, my Lord. Show yourself strong. Let, us, let people know my, that we know the God in whom we have trusted. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We are still praying, church. We are still praying. And we are going to take a look at uh, the declaration. The next declaration. Confidence, can you please? Project that, please. So, as we read together, the gracious hand of the Lord is upon us because we look to him. God will surely protect and save us from every evil arrow of the devil. We're going to go that, over that again. The gracious hand of the Lord is upon us because we look to him. God will surely protect and save us from every single evil arrow of the devil. Amen. We are moving on. We've got about 14 minutes more to pray. We are moving on. Can we look at Proverbs 16, verse 15? 
Proverbs 16, verse 15. Is this, if the king smiles at you, your life will go well. If the king smiles at you, your life will go well. I'm reading um, the Easy English Version. If he is pleased with you, that is like a cloud which gives rain in spring. Amen. I'll take it again. If the king smiles at you, your life will go well. So in this verse, the king that we are referring to here is Jesus. The king is God. If he smiles at us, our life will go well. And it says, if he is pleased with you, that is like a cloud which gives rain in spring. And if he is pleased with you, what God does for you, he does so many things for you, and it can be compared to a cloud raining down, you know, rain in spring. The Bible tells us in Matthew, I think, verse chapter 3, verse 17, as um, Pastor Caleb um, told us, um, somewhere last week, that the Bible tells us that God was pleased with Jesus. And he voiced this out. And he said, when he was baptizing um, John, he said that he was pleased with Jesus. So in the same vein, because we have become the righteousness of, of God in Christ Jesus, he is pleased with us as well. So we are going to pray that since God is smiling at us, since he is pleased with us, we are going to ask him to rain down, rain down blessings upon us. We are going to ask God to cause every aspect of our lives to go well. And we are going to ask him that he, he should rain down from the clouds of heaven every physical and spiritual blessing upon us because he is pleased with us. Father, well, we thank you for your word. We thank you, my God, Father, that you as king, you smile upon each and every one of us, O oh God. And because you smile upon us, oh God, Father, our lives will go well. We pray, my God, Father, your word today. Father, may our lives go well because you are smiling upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Every aspect of our life. Begin to mention the aspects of your life that don't seem to be going well. Because the Bible says that God is smiling upon us and it must go well. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. That as God smiles upon us, aspects of your life that are not going well, may they go well in the name of Jesus, in accordance with God's word. Bible says, if he is pleased with you, it is like a cloud which gives rain in spring. Father, begin to give rain, Father. Begin to pour out our blessings, my God, Father. Begin to give us answers to our requests, O God, Father, because you are pleased with us, O Lord. You are smiling upon us, O God. Begin to rain down, my God, Father, every blessing possible, my God. Begin to rain down every physical and spiritual blessing upon us because you are pleased with us, my God, Father. Father, begin to rain down, my God, Father, our requests upon us, O God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are pleased with us. Father, you smile at us. King of the earth, you smile at us. King of kings, you smile at us, O oh God, Father. Father, and because you are smiling at us, O oh God, Father, our lives must go well. Father, today we are standing upon your word, O oh God, Father. And we ask, my God, Father, that our lives should go well. Every aspect of our lives should go well. Christian work should go well. As a ring, ring my Godfather. May we be soaked, Godfather. May we be Shall we go over the declaration? Confidence, can you please put that up? My God is pleased with me. He smiles 
at me. He rains down from the heavenly clouds everything I need to lead a successful life. We're going to take that again. My God is pleased with me. He smiles at me. He rains down from the heavenly clouds everything I need to lead a successful life. Amen. We are still in the mood of prayer. We are going to pray our final prayer. And we are taking that from um, Matthew. Matthew 3. Matthew 3. Bear with me. Matthew 3, verses 15 and 16. And it says, but Jesus said, it should be done. It should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. So John agreed to baptize him. And the verse 16 says, after his baptism, as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and settling on him. And 17 says, and a voice from heaven said, this is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. Amen. We see from the verse 15, Jesus said, it should be done, for you must carry out all that God requires. And it was after that, what was done, after they had done what God required, then the heavens were open. We are going to pray that as Christians, that we will do what is required of us. Every single thing that God has instructed us to do in his word, may we ensure or endeavor, let's ask the Holy Spirit to enable us to do what God requires so that the heavens will forever be opened unto us. Shall we begin to pray? Father, we thank you for your word, my God, Father. We thank you for your word. We pray, my God, Father, that we will be able, by the help of the Holy Spirit, my God, Father, to Live according to your precepts, O God, Father, to do all that you require, O God, Father. Whatever you have asked us to do, my God, Father, may we in obedience, Father, do it, my God, Father, so that the heavens, my God, Father, will be opened unto us, O God, so that you will be pleased with us, O God, Father, so that we will bring you joy, O God, Father. This afternoon we pray, my God, Father, knowing that, my God, Father, we cannot do it in our own strength, O God. Father, your word is not by might, not by power, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, my God. Holy Spirit, enable us my God, to, to live in obedience, to follow the precepts of God, to do what God requires. Holy Spirit, enable us to do what requires. To enable us to do what God requires in the mighty name of Jesus so that the heaven will be opened up unto us. Father, help us to be obedient unto your word. Help us to be obedient unto what your commands of God and so that the heavens might be opened unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, we ask, this afternoon, we ask you, O oh God, we ask you, O oh God, to help us. We ask you to empower us where we are weak, strengthen us, O oh God, that we will be able to do what you require, that is required of us, my God, Father, so that heaven doors, Father, will blink open in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit, enable us to be obedient, enable us to be able to do what God requires so that the heavens will be opened unto us, so that God will exclaim that we are his beloved children, that God will exclaim that we bring him great joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Father, we pray. Help us to be obedient. Help us, my God, Father, to be submissive. Help us, my God, Father, to follow your God, Father, so that the heaven door will forever be open unto us, so that you will forever be pleased with us. So that you will smile upon us forever, O oh God. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We're going to sing this hymn. Um, there shall be showers of blessing. So as I sing, then sing with me. 
There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling. But for the showers we please. There shall be showers of blessing, precious reviving again. Over the hills and the valleys, sound of abundance of rain. Showers of blessing. Then showers, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we please. There shall be showers of blessing. Send them upon us, O oh Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing. Come then now honor thy word. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us a falling. But for the showers we please, there shall be showers of blessing. Oh, that today they might fall. Now as to God we're confessing. Now as on Jesus we call. Words of blessing, showers, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we please. There shall be showers of blessing. If we but trust and obey, there shall be seasons refreshing. If we let God have the way, showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for showers of blessing. We pray that today you will come and now honor thy word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.